Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can set up a little pop-up message for when the player tries to use an ability but doesn't have enough mana. So essentially what we're going to be doing is having a piece of text at the top uh, portion of the screen just saying no mana and you know it's just a bit of a visual prompt. Now this is going to be complete with an animation so it's going to fade off to the top, it's going to look really smooth and really Really nice. Um, it's a really cool system that we've got lined up and I can't wait to do it. So what I'm going to do then, um, first things first, is I'm going to work on the visual side of things, the animation side. So what I'm going to do, the easiest way to do this is to create a new user interface widget that we're just going to make pop onto the screen whenever they try and fire off that ability and don't have enough mana. So right click in your content browser, go to user interface and then widget blueprint. From here just give this the name no mana pop-up just like that and then open it up and then inside of here what we're gonna do is simply drag in a piece of text and we're gonna put this towards the top side of the screen and set the content text to no mana uh, available and then with this we are just gonna make this a little bit bigger just like this okay maybe not that big maybe set it to a font size of like 40 um, or even 50, uh, let's just go with 35, mm, yeah, that'll do, so that'll do there, that's quite nice, um, and what I'm also going to do is leave this to bold so it's quite clear, and I'm going to set the justification to the center, so it's all center aligned and all that good stuff, so put that in there, and then I'm going to center this, and the way I'm going to center it is just use this little anchor, and we are going to anchor it to the top middle of the screen, just like this, and I think I'm also going to put like a little exclamation mark at the end there just to make it look more nice. And what I also need to do is center it with this anchor point. I know this anchor is the exact center of the screen. So I'm going to drag these little dots over until it sort of lines up. So with this little black line that I've got here. And that looks good to me. Um, and what I need to do now then is pretty much animate this. But before I animate it, I'm going to give this a different name. I'm just going to call this pop-up text at the top here. And the reason why I am animating it is so when we put it into the timeline, we know exactly which element it is that we're, you know, interacting with. So that's all good. Now, before we animate it, another thing we need to do, because I'm going to be doing a fade, I am going to set the default color and opacity and I'm going to change the alpha to zero. That way, by default, it's not going to be on the screen. There's going to be no pop when it tries the animation. Um, it's just going to be smooth running. So leave that there. Now in the animation tab in the bottom left here, add a new animation and simply just call this pop up fade for now. And then what we're going to do is add this item to our timeline. And you can see here we've now got pop up text, the piece that we've just created. Add that on. And then with this, press the little plus add track here. And what we're going to do is simply add in a color and opacity track. And now that we've got this, we can use this timeline in the bottom right to pretty much make this fade in and out onto the screen. So what I'm going to do then is expand my color and opacity track. And by default, it should be set to zero, as you can see here. What we're going to do is make it pop onto the screen real quick. So at one second, we are going to set the opacity to one. And then at two seconds, we're going to make the opacity set to zero. And if I drag this down now, if I press play, you can see it fades on and it fades out. And that's quite nice. And I think that's going to be really nice for a sort of no mana indicator on our screen. If we wanted to, we could even go one step further and add like a transform track to make it move up and down the screen as well. Um, so I'm going to do that just so we have something extra to it. Just, just the tiny little details like this. Um, really do add stuff to a game. So once again, with this pop-up text here, what we're gonna do is just add a transform track, and then the one that we're after is translation, that's the movement stuff on the X and Y, being up and side to side. What we're gonna do is get the default value over here, set this to zero, zero, just add these little keyframes, and then over at two seconds, we pretty much just want this to be moved up on the screen. So what we need to do then is pretty much drag one of these up. So is it X? Nope, it's the Y that we're after. So just adjust your Y and drag this until it's slightly off of your screen. So the value that I'm after here is about minus 230 and then pretty much over these two seconds now when we press play 
it's going to fade off and up to the top of the screen, which is quite nice. So essentially what it's doing is going from the default position over here, which is set to zero, the original position, and then over at two seconds, it's going over to the top of the screen with the fade as well, which is really nice. Anyway, that's pretty much everything for the animation. What we need to do now is tell it to run this animation as soon as this widget is created. So leaving all of this, go to your graph, and then the one that we're after is construct. This is similar to begin play, um, sorry, not pre-construct, it's just normal construct. From this, just drag it out and tell it to play an animation. And then for the target, leave that to itself. And then if you drag this in, you can see we've got nothing there. What we need to do is go over to the left hand side here where we've got our animation list, drag out the variable, get a reference to it, and then just hook it up just like that. And what this is going to do is just pretty much just play that animation as soon as it's constructed. So we've done that. What we need to do now then is pretty much the code side, the back end side inside of our blueprints where we are checking to see if the player has enough mana. So closing all of that, go into your third person character. And then what we're going to do is go over to our abilities and then if you check over here you can see we're checking to see if the player has enough mana. So branch and then greater than or equal to 0.15. True is just going to play the animation and false is where we tell it to construct this widget. So we're going to drag this out, tell it to create a widget and then the widget class is simply going to be no mana pop up and then drag this out and add it to the player's viewport just like that and hopefully now then if we compile this press play use our ability a couple of times until it has no mana we should get it popping up on the player's screen so let's give it a couple of times you can see i have to wait just a bit because i've got my cooldowns in place so keep going and then this time hopefully it should stop me using it no, okay, now I'm completely out of mana and it will work. So let's try use it again. And you can see it says no mana available, which is pretty nice. All I've got to do now then is pretty much just add that onto my second ability as well. And the code is pretty much the same for, you know, checking to see if the player has enough mana. So that's your heal ability. Go over to your second ability for ability two. And then you can see we've got this branch node again. So where it just checks to see if it's got enough mana. False is, is empty, so just create widget. And then with this, add it to the viewport. And then for your widget class, no mana pop up, compile it. And then one last test. So let's try this with this second ability instead. So just use this a couple of times until this is all working. Well, not until it's all working, but until we're out of mana. So try and use it now, no mana available. And each time I press it, you can see it's gonna spawn one of these pieces of text. And because it's all animated upwards, there's no clipping or anything like that. It just looks really, really cool. Anyway, that's pretty much everything for today's video. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.